So you you have photopia.com open on your Chrome browser just like I do and you also have the two pictures you downloaded well the two pictures that we'll need you just need the front facing one and then the left or the right facing one so pick one of the either the left or the right facing picture so um next you're going to do what what you're going to do is you're going to drag this picture click and drag and drop it in here and that should open this picture in photopea okay and then you're going to drag and drop the second one and put it on here as well after that you're going to come to where it says opacity you're going to drop the opacity to about 40 percent okay drop it to 40 percent and then you're going to click on this first top right one it's called the move tool you click on that and then you're going to come and align this face and look at it this way we're going to try to align the lips and the nose so that he looks like that yeah okay right there like that once it's about aligned like that you're gonna return the opacity back to 100 percent okay then you're gonna come down to this one two three fourth the fourth icon here a rectangle a white rectangle with this black circle in the middle click on that where it says add raster mask click on that okay and then you're gonna click once on the raster mask you're gonna come over here where you see on the bottom left you see where it says uh, swap you're gonna click once to make the black square go on top of the white square okay then go up to the brush tool click on the brush tool and then come up here and change the settings on the brush so I'm gonna move here change the hardness from 100% to maybe 20% alright and then I'm gonna start the paint in here okay the moment I paint in here you should see okay if I'm painting and it's it's really fine line like that then I'm gonna come back up here and make the size bigger the size of the brush is bigger now so I can paint okay what I'm doing is I'm gonna paint the face so that it, it lines up in it fills up this area here that looks like his silhouette so I'm gonna paint that if you make a mistake it's easy you just press the letter X like right now I made a mistake so I'm gonna press the letter X X okay pressing the letter X changes this from this white square from black to white and vice versa so if you want it to be white it goes that way you press it again it goes to black okay so I'm gonna change it to black so I can continue painting All right so this is where I'm painting his face in alright when you get into the certain areas that certain areas might need you to zoom in so you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to click on the the zoom brush which is um, this one hand tool there you click on it and it lets you zoom okay the zoom tool is this magnifying glass so I'll zoom in alright then I'll switch back to the brush tool and now you can see me painting better right there like that okay it's okay if you make a mistake and you overpaint because if you overpaint this is how you paint back the paint back over the mistake okay let's just finish this up first 
right now I'm gonna go up here and finish this part up okay and then the nose the nose looks to be okay like that okay let's say I made a mistake over here and I over painted this part so I'm gonna press the letter X and I'll paint back this area here you see there and then over here I want to paint back the, the area that is black I'm gonna paint this back because I only want his face I don't want to show anything else just like that oh I went the other way too much so I hit X and I'll paint this back okay. and then hit X I'm gonna paint this to make it black again so here we go that's our face I'll do command minus to zoom out or if you're on Windows you can do command uh, control plus to zoom in control minus to zoom out and now this is the effect that you want and you're gonna go to file save uh, you're gonna save this and it's gonna ask you save where well you're gonna save it as a PSD and then there when it's done saving it's gonna save to your downloads folder right down here all right so always save a, a, a copy as a PSD because then if you want to a PSD is a Photoshop document if you want to re-edit this picture you will have the layers there and you can still edit them if you do file export as a JPEG <clears throat> if you do that what's gonna happen is then it will flatten the layer it'll throw away the layers this picture will no longer be editable and that's what you that's what that's what happens when you do export as JPEG okay